Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to improve your microphone audio in video calls with the help of a filter, based on artificial intelligence, which tries to filter everything that's not a voice from your audio. The filter can achieve an effect very similar to NVIDIA's RTX voice. Hear for yourself what it can do. This is how my regular mic sounds without a filter. And this is the same mic filtered. Now I'm talking at the same time as I smash my keyboard. And now I'm still smashing my keyboard but with the filter on. Unlike RTX voice, you don't need to have an NVIDIA GPU to use the filter. In fact, you don't need a dedicated graphics card at all as all the processing is done by the CPU. And the best thing is, it works very well even on a modest computer. Well, let's go through the installation process. For that, you will need to download three programs. All of the links are available in the video description. The heart of the filter is the Noise Suppression for Voice plugin, which is based on the RN Noise library for noise suppression using recurrent neural networks. So, depending on your operating system, you can download the 32 or 64 bit version. What we are interested in this download is a VSG plugin. VSG is a type of plugin widely used in audio processing and to use the plugin, we need a program capable of running it. That's where the second download, VSG host, comes in. Anyone familiar with this type of plugin can use other softwares, but this is one of the simplest that I found. The last program is used to transform the audio output from the VSG host into an input that can be used by other softwares. In a certain way, it acts like a virtual microphone. The program is called VB Cable Virtual Audio Device. After we finish downloading the programs, we go to the installation and configuration. First, I will unzip all the files. To start, I will install the VB cable software. For that, I need to run the VB cable setup file as an administrator. Then, you just click on install driver. A message will appear that you may need to restart your computer. Normally, you don't need to. Just click on OK. Now, we open VSG host and to add the plugin, we go to the menu, file, new plugin and navigate to the plugin location on the folder bin, VSG and select the file librnnoise underscore VSG dot DLL. And now, for the last part, we need to configure the audio input and output of the VSG host. To do that, we go to the menu, devices and select WAVE. In the input port, you select the microphone you normally use, which starts with MME double dots. In my case here is the Realtek microphone. For the output port, you can select MME double dots cable input. Now you just have to select the cable output as the audio input in your video conference program. If you want to do the reverse, filter the audio of other people in a video conference, you need to invert the configuration. You have to configure the audio output in the video conference software as cable input and in the VSG host, select the cable output as the input port and your computer speakers as the output port. Unfortunately, with this configuration, you cannot do both at the same time. But it is possible. For that, we will need to install an additional virtual audio device, like VB Cable A plus B. To install it, you will have to make a donation for the developers. In times of home offs, where you end up making several video calls in a single day, this filter may be very useful. 
What's your opinion about it? Did it work for you? I hope my explanation was clear. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and until the next time.